of the Daily Devotions with Jesus. I'm Graeme Joseph Hill. You can find links to our devotional books and podcasts at grahamjosephhill.com forward slash devotions. Today I'm guiding you through a devotional reflection on Genesis 18. Please take some time to read through the chapter slowly, reflectively and prayerfully. Let's begin. In the heartwarming narrative of Genesis 18, we see Abraham by the Oaks of Memre, where he encounters three mysterious visitors at his tent door. This chapter, rich with hospitality, promise and intercession, offers profound insights into the nature of divine encounters, the power of hospitality, and the reaffirmation of divine promises, deep compassion and courageous intercession. Let's explore five lessons from Genesis 18 that enrich our spirituality and guide us for how we should live. Firstly, the power of hospitality. Genesis 18 verse 2 says these words, Abraham looked up and saw three men standing near him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent door to meet them and bowed himself to the earth. Abraham's immediate response to the presence of the three visitors is a model of Middle Eastern hospitality but goes beyond cultural norms to reflect a spiritual truth, the sacredness of welcoming a stranger, a neighbour, even possibly an enemy. This encounter teaches us about the spiritual discipline of hospitality, which opens doors to divine revelations. Just as Abraham welcomed these visitors who turned out to be bearers of God's promises, we're called to open our hearts and homes to hospitality. Not knowing when we might be entertaining angels or facilitating God's work. Secondly, the reaffirmation of promises. Genesis 18 verse 9 to 10 says these words, They said to him, Where is your wife Sarah? And he said, In the tent. The Lord said, I will surely return to you in due season, and your wife, Sarah, will have a son. In the midst of ordinary life, God reaffirms the promise of a son to Sarah and Abraham. This moment underscores the importance of faith in God's timing, even when God's promises seem delayed and the possibility appears physically impossible. God's word stands firm. This teaches us to hold on to God's promises with enduring faith, believing that what God has declared will indeed be fulfilled, no matter the seeming impossibilities. Thirdly, compassion in the divine character. Genesis 18 verse 23 says these words, And Abraham drew near and said, Will you indeed sweep away the righteous? With the wicked? The dialogue between Abraham and the Lord regarding the fate of Sodom and Gomorrah reveals a deeper aspect of God's character. Compassion combined with justice. Righteousness combined with love. Abraham's negotiation shows his understanding of God as just and merciful. This passage invites us to grasp the depth of God's compassion towards humanity and encourages us to emulate this divine attribute, practicing justice and mercy in our relationships and interactions. Fourthly, courageous intercession. As Abraham intercedes for Sodom, his boldness grows, yet he remains respectful and aware of his place as dust and ashes. His intercessory prayer teaches us about the power and responsibility of standing in the gap for others. This act of courageous intercession is a form of deep spiritual advocacy that calls us to pray fervently for our communities, nations, and for those who no one else will intercede for, reflecting Jesus' intercessory role on our behalf. Fifthly, Encountering God in the Everyday The entire chapter of Genesis 18 is an illustration of encountering God in the everyday. Abraham's day started like any other, but it became extraordinary through divine visitation. 
This teaches us to remain open to the holy in the midst of the mundane. God often visits us in unexpected ways and times. Our readiness to perceive and welcome these divine moments can transform our ordinary days into encounters filled with grace and truth. Genesis 18 enriches our spiritual understanding and practice by exemplifying hospitality, reaffirmation of divine promises, deep compassion, courageous intercession, and the sanctity of everyday encounters with God. Each of these lessons encourages us to be more attentive to the divine whispers in our daily lives, to embrace others with love and mercy, to stand in prayerful advocacy for the well-being of all. Genesis 18 deeply resonates with Jesus' teachings on hospitality, mercy, and intercessory prayer, guiding us in the way of discipleship. Jesus emphasized welcoming the stranger, which Abraham exemplifies through his generous hospitality. This act of welcoming is a spiritual practice, reflecting Jesus' call to see him in the least of our brothers and sisters, in the faces of neighbours and strangers. Abraham's compassionate negotiation with God over Sodom and Gomorrah mirrors Jesus' call for mercy over judgment, urging us to embrace a heart of compassion in our relationships. Lastly, Abram's bold intercession reflects Jesus' own advocacy on behalf of humanity, inviting us to be prayers and intercessors who pray for the needs of the world, who step into the breach wherever injustice or pain exists. Through these actions, we live out the love of Christ, embodying his teachings in practical, transformative ways. Let's pray. O divine visitor at the threshold of our lives, in the quiet and the clamour of our days, we seek the grace to open our hearts as Abram opened his tent, to welcome you in the stranger, the neighbour, the enemy, the friend. Bless us with the virtue of hospitality, that our homes and hearts be places of refuge and revelation, where the weary find rest, and the joyful share delight. Teach us to serve not merely out of duty, but from a deep well of love, recognising your image in each face we encounter, in moments of doubt and seasons of waiting. Rekindle the flame of your promise in our hearts. Remind us that your words are not bound by time or tethered to our understanding. May the assurance of your faithfulness be the bedrock upon which we build our lives steadfast amidst the shifting sands. Infuse our spirits with compassion and courage that we may not shy away from standing in the gap for the vulnerable, the marginalised, the voiceless, the forgotten. Let our prayers be bold, our actions just, our words kind, as we advocate for a world that mirrors your mercy and justice. Amid the ordinary, open our eyes to the holy sparks hidden in our everyday encounters. May we never be so consumed by our routines that we miss your divine whisper, calling us into communion with you and with one another. In the sacred space of this prayer, renew our commitment to live out your love day by day, relationship by relationship, moment by moment. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.